Welcome to Japan, everybody. Today, I'm gonna shove some magical sushi rolls down my throat. They're called ehomaki, and they're a specialty Japanese food that's supposed to ward off demons in your life. Sounds pretty legit to me, so if you want to feed your face and to show some demons who's boss, you've come to the right place. So I was cruising around your average everyday Japanese supermarket, came across an Ehomaki poster, and decided to take a closer look. Now the concept of this sushi is simple, real simple. Pay a little money for a maxed out maki roll, and de-demon your life one buck wild bite at a time. Mind you, I don't exactly know why these rolls ward off demons, but rest assured, they definitely fucking do. And you know something, baby cakes? I'm getting sick and tired of these damn demons trying to ruin my life. I've had it up to here with those rascals, so I'm gonna buy every ehomaki I can find. Can you actually blame me? So I loaded my cart to the brim, made my purchase, then sprinted on back to my apartment. And upon my arrival, I started inspecting that ehomaki all up close and personal-like. And upon closer inspection, I came to the realization that I would have to face east to northeast to have the desired effect. I mean, I guess it makes sense to switch up the direction every year because you don't want those demons to know what's gonna hit them. So first up, here we got the Kaisen Ehomaki, aka the Seafood Maki. Next, we have the Salad the Maki, which appears to have an eggy wig wrapping. Following that, we have the Bare Bones Back to the Basics Original Eho Maki. Next up, we have the Kaisen Deluxe, which is looking pretty oishi in my book. And last up, we have the Hujia Melky Cream Roll, which is a dessert Eho Maki. So I poured myself some soy sauce like a boss, then I got mentally, emotionally, spiritually, and sexually prepared to de-demon my life. That's right, demons, you're officially on notice. So I dipped that ehomaki, looked at it, admired it, then shoved it down my throat. And whoa, boy, whoa, whoa, I think those demons definitely did not see that delish bite coming. That tuna and fish egg packed bite started the purification process. Those minuscule nibbles were a devastating blow to those demons' future, and truth be told, I almost felt bad for them. I mean, as if a Kaisen Maki ain't enough, I'm locking and loading that salad Maki. And I feel like those poor demons don't have a chance. Nevertheless, I started it, so now I gotta finish it, so I took myself a bite and whoa. That salad, salmon, and shrimp packed sushi roll was tasting so damn good, it almost brought a tear to my eye. So after careful thought, consideration, and contemplation, I moved on to the classic Eho Maki. This bad boy's got some egg tamagoyaki, some kanpyo pickled gourd, and some tarako fish eggy wigs. Basically, it's looking pretty oishi, but I can't help but think about what it might look like from a demon's perspective. They would think it would look quite the opposite. To them, it would probably be an unconscionable tool of evil, a deadly despicable sushi roll, and a destroyer of worlds. But hey, demon's gonna demon, baby. Anyway, that original Eho Maki wasn't quite tasting as good as the previous ones, so I moved on to the Deluxe Kaisen Maki. I could see that bad boy was packed with pickled ginger, onigo eel, and a whole lot of other ingredients. And the mere sight of it was getting me feeling just a tad off -nar, so I took myself a bite and oh my dogs. That was most definitely the best Eho Maki yet, and from a demon's perspective, that would be a life taker and a heart breaker. So with that profound thought in mind, I moved on to the final Eho Maki, aka the Melky Cream Maki. And as if that savage barrage of Makis thus far wasn't enough, this was the final nail in the demon coffin. It was fluffy as hell, creamy to the max, and oishi as fuck, and with that, this Ehomaki tour has come to a close. 
Oh, and by the way, if you want to learn about some more unique Japanese cuisine, then you best be checking out our new video about Yaki Niku on the JQA channel. It's a magnificent meat tour with a whole lot of mighty fine footage, so feel free to check it out. I got that link down below in the description box.